Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix and I am joined by a different guest today. Uh, no one normal. <laughs> this is my friend Philip from uh, high school. We used to be an anime club together. So welcome Philip to this nice recording of mine. What's up beast mode? <laughs> It's, it sounds like you've been smoking cigarettes since you were 12. <laughs> since I was in in the fetal position as a kid. <laughs> You've just been smoking that shit. <laughs> smoking that loud pack, what can I say? Smoking yeah. a loud pack. I forgot that's what you sounded like, and then I, we met up again at an amazement, and you, you spoke. <laughs> it scared the I shit opened, out of me. I opened my mouth, and there was a smoke. Just a bunch of smoke. Dude, you sound like you've had can car. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh... It's... Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so... We were like, what fandoms are we in? To, to That we we share. That we can collectively, like, rip on a book. And we both... Uh, like Danganronpa. And it's been a while since I've been in the Danganronpa fandom. But... Um, yeah, it's 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 been quite a minute since I played Dang It Ron Paul two. Uh, however, uh, I still need to play V three. So one day, one day, it's coming back. I, I just know it. I just know it. Yeah. Um. I <laughs> never played any of the games. I watched someone play them, so I know the lore at least. Right. Right. I, I, I'm not, uh, if, not funnily fine. enough, I got into it uh, through <clears throat> the fucking anime. I watched the animes before. The anime really? before, yeah, both both the uh, yeah the uh, the first animation and the the Dong and Run Put three, not V three, three the the future and despair arc that was mm -hmm. very interesting watching before playing Dong and Run Put two. Damn, <laughs> yeah, you must have been confused as shit. Uh, it, it was cool. I, I I liked I liked the despair arc. I didn't like the future arc of three. Yeah. Well, uh, I I sent you a collection of Danganronpa one. I didn't. I wasn't aware that you haven't seen V three. So I sent you uh, a character from Danganronpa one, two, mm -hmm. and three, and you decided on <laughs> this one of Byakuya Togami X Reader. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, I cannot wait for this shit. <laughs> I'm glad he lived. I guess. <laughs> I. I love Byakuya. Yeah. I, I am I am Toko Fukawa IRL, <laughs> by the way. I hope you all know that. <laughs> Alright, well, this this is by uh, Hello Dear, and then the description reads, YN wasn't the most talkative servant, which made her presence more comfortable to the Prince by Byakuya, who was already shaken off, off many other noisy maids. Though, even the the hair-colored haired girl <laughs> would get quite nervous from time to time. Female reader. Complete. I do not own Dane Rampa nor the characters. I only own this story. So. Alright. Pretty cool. Yeah, Pretty I, cool. I can't wait to read this. <laughs> 19 parts, an estimated 55 minute read, and I'll bet you we can make that triple. <laughs> I'm sure we could. Sure we could. All right, so I have this special uh, POV replacer, and it replaces, I don't know why it looks like this, but that's weird. Uh, I have a special POV replacer that basically um, kind of automatically replaces the words. So we just got to come up with a stupid name. What, what, what stupid name should we give YN? Well, I was thinking, I was thinking Jabongrius. How does that sound? How do you spell that? <laughs> J A B R O N G R I U S. Jabongrius. I, I, I am at J. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We we could call him J for short. Uh, well, I, I'm at the letter J right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So J. J. A. Okay. A. B. R. R. Wait, wait. Jabong. <laughs> okay. O. O. N. N. G R I U S. Jabongrius. Oh my god, this looks like a nightmare. <laughs> Jabongrius. <laughs> uh, eye color. What? What's his, What's her eye color? Jabongrius's eye color is 
purple is my favorite color. So uh, why not purple? All right, and I, what other thing was on here? I just saw it. Uh, uh, hair I, color. Oh, hair color. My bad. My bad. Uh, you know, of course you have blue hair and pronouns. Blue. <laughs> All right, I think that's everything that we need. So uh, how I usually start these is before we start reading, I flip my phone, and whatever <laughs> side it lands on is who reads. So do you want to be the All part right. that has the, the screen where you touch and everything, or the back side, like the, the case? Hmm, I suppose I will choose the case. All righty. All right, let's see. It's the screen. I'm going to grab my phone and flung it. <laughs> So let's see, uh, we just so, read each of the, I guess, stanzas, if you will. Yeah, I'll pro we'll probably paragraph. do three and three. Alright, three each, okay, yeah. that works. We'll, we'll popcorn read. That's usually Yay. how it's done. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> what's really funny about Wattpad is, like, the comments. I really want on one of these to just have a shit ton of comments on one of the paragraphs. <laughs> just, just, just start reading a bunch of our favorite comments like right down here we have some amazing comments i can't wait to read them at the very end <laughs> well it's not just the comments it's just like the name of the user in general it's it's very it's uh, a very very nice fly fly on the wall experience uh <laughs> as someone who does not read or typically interact with fanfics at all oh uh, this must be a new experience for you then don't worry it's a wild ride <laughs> Hey, I'm 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 all for it. I'm all for it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm strapped in. All right, I got my a romantic tea with me, so I, I'm I'm ready. And also, Let's it go. starts with us giving him tea, so very fitting. Your Highness, your tea is ready. A rather quiet voice said as the door opened. The Tsugami lifted his head for a brief moment, but focused on his book again after a couple of seconds. Thanks. Walking in was a blue-haired girl. Her purple eyes dazzled a uh, gaze at the tea. You will meet the princess from the other land today, your highness, was the only other thing she said while putting the small cup down, turning her back to the blonde hair male. I know that. You can go now, but tell my father won't be joining for dinner tonight. Nodding her head slightly, the servant bowed at the royal before walking out, gently closing the door behind her. She wasn't sure... She, fuck. She wasn't sure herself how he she got into the situation. <laughs> it's like a record scratch. It's like, <laughs> you may be wondering how I got here. Well, it all started a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> a few years ago, she would have never thought she'd be working like this in the future. But she wasn't complaining. Even though the prince that she was serving was sometimes rude, he was quiet most of the time. Just caring about his books and not noticing her at all. Just by serving him, she was earning a lot of money provide that provided her a good living condition. I knew that job. Met, <laughs> we're so real, so yeah. real. I want to serve some <laughs> some blonde prick and get a shit ton of money. I want to be a maid too. What can I say? I I, I think I think those dresses are fire. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll we'll put on the maid outfit and serve the prince. <laughs> yes, yes. Your Majesty, the young lord will not attend the family dinner tonight. Uh, Jabongrius's <clears throat> voice announced as she bowed to Biakia's parents. I apologize, but he is currently busy and couldn't tell you himself. She wasn't sure why the blonde prince did this quite often. Oh, he's doing Whenever, his reading. He's not uh, doing uh, shit. It, he, he, he is sipping on his tea right now. Please, give him a moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God forbid. <laughs> God, God forbid he, he not sip on his oolong tea on a nice, nice, uh, windy day. <laughs> Whenever the, never the, <clears throat> forgetting the haircut. Blue. blue. Yeah. Blue. She, she got blue hair of course and they pronouns. Have blue. <laughs> oh god. Whenever the blue-haired servant would ask him, he would give her the same answer. It's not your business. Though, she figured that he didn't like his siblings that much. He always seemed to glare at them when they were in the same room, and they weren't much friendlier either. She didn't know it exactly, but she assumed it was because the big fight over the throne. <laughs> just, I'm again, like, you know how, like, back in the day, I don't know why I say back in the day, this is probably, like, ancient times of, like, Britain, 
Like, <laughs> like people yeah, like, killing their siblings to get the throne. Fucking... <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> You mean, you mean Princess Diana, right? Yeah, like that. Yeah. That, that, that was that was only the '90s, though. <laughs> well, I, I just I thought that always happened in history of like, oh shit, uh, well, I want to be the throne, but my sister's gonna well, get it. Let me just stab. Prin Princess, <laughs> Princess Diana died because of the uh, paparazzi, but it's a fun conspiracy theory. Oh shit! I didn't realize. That. I, I thought it was just it, like she, she was <laughs> she was being chased by the paparazzi in a in a car ride and. They crashed. Oh, that's not good. I never knew that. I've always heard the conspiracy, and I just thought it was true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> the king and queen seemed to pick out their heir, who was perfect in everything they did. Of course, that would put a lot of stress onto a person. I thought it was just whoever's oldest. Whatever. <laughs> that's, that's what I thought too. That's what I thought too. The, the firstborn, they 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 will take the throne. But who 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 am I to judge how uh, Biakia Land does this? I mean, he is the ultimate like prodigy. So I guess so, like just, so true. So he so just goes like up to the top of the line. Yeah. Yeah, it's auto win. <laughs> exactly. He's playing with cheats on right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, I feel like it. Oh yeah, the king and queen seemed. Oh yeah, whatever. Uh, Princess Biakia didn't seem like the type to get scared, though. Especially not over his siblings. Well, what do I know? After all, I'm just a simple servant who works for him. I can't read his mind. While thinking to herself, she left the dining room again, walking to the gates of the castle to greet their guest. Excuse me? Princess, never mind, wishes to speak Let's to go. Oh yeah, Fisonia! <laughs> yes, the walking Nirvana reference herself princess uh never mind would wish to meet uh prince biakia a male voice gently said making her raise her head in front of her was a man with pink hair and shark oh my god <laughs> it's what's real like, soda Sounds like soda it. yeah <laughs> something like that oh of course i'm here to greet the princess I can't believe he's un like working <laughs> underneath Sonya. What a beta! <laughs> he, he he's finally doing exactly what he wanted all along. Yeah. N nodding, the male who was probably a servant too stepped aside, revealing a breathtaking female. Her long blonde hair seemed to flow in the wind. I told you it was a windy day, <laughs> and her blue eyes had a glittering sparkle in them. <clears throat> Greetings. The other servant, my name is Sonia Nevermind. I am here to greet, meet, Princess, <sighs> Prince Biakia from another kingdom. Bowing her head, bowing to her, Jabongris gave a small nod. Of course, I'm Prince Biakia's servant and will ask your court you to his room. The blonde's eyes seem to sparkle even more. Oh, how wonderful. Please lead the way. I can't wait to meet my... Maybe future husband. The pink-haired servant behind her seemed to roll his eyes. Princess Sonia, let me come with you. I'm strong enough to protect you. Sonia shook her head, glaring slightly at her servant. Kazuichi, I wish to meet him on my own. You can go somewhere else in the meantime. Damn rude. Oh, <laughs> like dude. this first comment is, whoa, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> curbed. Absolutely curbed. Is there any other stupid comments? There's a fuck off ho, there's oh my god, Kajuiji's oh, here. This is great. <laughs> the comments are great. They are. I, I told you. My my favorite thing of Wattpad is like whenever there's like a at least when I read like BL kind of stuff, like gay ships, they're like if they do anything remotely gay, <laughs> you'll see a shit ton of comments on the side of a paragraph just being like gay they're gay. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 quite funny and just seeing like the fans like rip each other apart or just uh just I I, I know they tend to have a reputation. Yeah. Especially uh F Fujos, I would say. Oh yeah, they definitely do. <laughs> All right, I got the think fit. All right, chapter 2. All right, let's fucking see. Well, I I feel like this is a good start so far. Uh, we 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 just be uh, serving, and then this princess shows up. It kind of goes hard, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's princess we know too. Wow. Yeah. We uh, we live in a big right now. I wonder how much they're paying us. Hmm. <laughs> I I have done the estimation, and I think it's uh. 
I think it's five euros. Five euros? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. Alright, chapter two. Alright, how the fuck do you pronounce the name again? Jaborius? Jabungrius. Jabungrius, sorry. After Jabungius had brought Sonia to Briachia, she went to the royal garden, where she found the pink-haired servant. Ah, you're Kazuichi, right? She quietly asked, tapping his shoulder. He jumped, quickly turning to face her. Eh, don't just appear behind me. You scared me. My apologies. Are you going to answer my question, though? Puffing out his cheeks, he crossed his arms. So did Kazuichi, Princess Sonia's personal servant. Isn't she so gorgeous? Oh my god, he's a simp! <laughs> simp! His pupils seem to form into hearts, his cheeks becoming dark red. Ah, oh, your prince sure is a lucky one. I guess. <laughs> Raising an eyebrow. I'd say so. Yeah. But. I would I would I would say so. Yeah, Quite personally. She, yeah, she is kinda pretty with like her go, like her dead up. Real. Ah oh, shit. Alright. Okay. Raising an eyebrow, the blue haired girl tilted her head to the side. Again, my apologies if this sounds rude, but could it be that you're interested in Princess Sonia? I'm not sure if it's an... Uh, an... a uh, fuck. <laughs> so anatomically. Anatomically. Anatomy. Anat yes. I don't know if it's possible if for your pupils to form into small hearts, you know. Yeah, it was someone else. A small blush uh, began to spread in his face. Yeah, maybe I am. So what? And, and it wouldn't ever work out. He began to sulk. All of his precious energy, uh, previous energy, disappeared. Because she is a royal and you're a servant, right? Jabungrius asked him, becoming sh quite sure of her assumption. Trying to trying to find where we're at right now. I, he Hold just up. screams and he's like, No! <laughs> <laughs> we picked we picked a pretty uh yeah. got the bad timing. Yeah. Brother brothers are in the room. At least a room away. Let's yeah. see. <clears throat> no! She practically spat in her face. It's because that damn doomed Tanaka. Who? Gundam Tanaka. He takes care of all the royal family's animals. It's like he's connected to them. And for some reason, Princess Sonia is always, always has her eyes on him. If, like, if he was a royal, it would already be married. Damn. Then maybe it's time for you to let go. After all, Princess Sonia will probably be getting marrying soon. Why would you still be grieving over it then? Jabangrius genuinely could not understand why Kazuichi was acting like this towards Sonia. Was he really being this obsessive? I mean, that's that's like I, you, have you not played. Have you not played the game? Yeah, this I, is pretty I, I like average. <laughs> yes. Seriously, have you never been in love before? No. Sigma. The Sigma response. Holy shit. <laughs> that is shit. a Sigma response. Jabungrius <laughs> is based right now. <laughs> and, and, lo love Jabungrius. Jabungrius. Crazy. Wh not, not even a tiny crush? No. Someone who you thought looks better than anyone else? Well, Prince Biakia certainly does shine above the rest. But that is because he's the ideal next king for this whole country. So true. Biakia. Biakia for king. Yes, Biakia for president. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> you're good, you're had, 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 had to do it. Had to do it. <laughs> Was not muting my mic to do that. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. But before the pink-haired male can even continue talking, an upset Princess Sonia stormed in. It seems like Prin Prince Sogami and me aren't made for each other. I fear that our kingdoms won't be able to connect. Bottom lick seemed to quiver slightly, her face seemingly distressed as she sat beside her servant. Holy shit, was he, like, so mean to her? I don't doubt it. Damn. There's only one person, there's only one person for Piaki. I'm not gonna say who it is. I'm not gonna say who it is. Is it Makoto? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Jabongrius. Oh. It's Jabongrius. <laughs> I thought you meant in canon. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, definitely, uh, definitely Jabungrius. Absolutely. He can't get enough of the, the blue hair and pronouns. <laughs> who could resist purple eyes? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot they gave her purple 
purple. <laughs> Miss Sonia, uh, why are you crying? Uh, fuck. <laughs> Kazuishi <laughs> jumped when he noticed the small tears that were dripping down from her eyes. I really don't understand why P Prince Biaki is so mean towards me. I, I, why do they keep switching? Like, first it's like Prince Togami and then Prince Biakia. Like, I, 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 I guess they really wanted to, uh, to tell you that his name, his, his family name, I guess, I, is Togami. Yeah. <laughs> Forget him, he's just a brat. He clenched his fists uh, together slightly. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, do you have one more, or...? I think there's three more paragraphs, so you can go ahead and finish it off. Alright. With a sigh, the blue-haired female bowed to the guest. I apologize for Prince Biakia's behavior. It's not very polite of him to treat you like this, however... I will have to ask you not to call him a brat. He is under almost constant stress because of family issues. Sonia gasped. Her sadness about the situation is suddenly gone. But it is okay for you to just tell us that? I mean, family issues can be quite serious stuff, Kazuichi quickly said before the princess herself could question it. That may be so, but it's not really a secret. It's a, it's a well-known secret. That's what it is. Both's eyes widened. What do you mean by that? The blonde females hesitantly asked, staring at the servant. Prince Biakia's family is huge, as you may know. And her face became cold and serious as she looked at them. The ball next month will determine the heir of this family. Oh shit! We get into war! <laughs> the the, the Biakia Tagami family lore. Yep. The lore of the story is getting activated. The plot has thickened. Mmm. Strokes. Strokes chin. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. Isn't... Let me fucking refresh again. Sometimes the, the, the POV replacer just does not want to work. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Alright. Chapter 3. Only... Only 63 votes. This shit needs to get higher. <laughs> I... On God, on God, gas this, gas this fanfic up. Yeah, absolutely. This is pretty good so far. I'm not complaining at all. This is this is actually bussin'. On God. Yeah, if I had to like relate this to food, I'd probably pick sushi because I fucking love sushi, and that's how much I love this book so far. <laughs> the yummy. <laughs> Determine the air for the family. What do you mean by that? Kazuichi leaned forward slightly, not sure if he had heard that right. Whoever has the most successful partner, preferably a royal, will shine there the most. That is ridiculous, Sonya stood up, obviously angered. Why would that determine anything? Please calm down. Looking at the castle's giant clock, the blue-haired female sighed, looking at their guests. I have to return to Prince Biakia now. I'm very sorry that you came here for nothing, Princess Sonia. A last time, she bowed before them before disappearing into the castle. We just, like, peace signed and we just <laughs> disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was about to say, uh, don't, don't screw up on, uh, looking at the castle's, uh, castle's part. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit. Uh, that's what I was, that's what I, that's what. Oh, uh, I, did, I think I did that yep. once. It wasn't, it wasn't don't like. Don't mess that one up. <laughs> Oh, I did that once for a fucking uh, a Zosan fic. It was supposed to say Mihawk. Mihawk. And I said... I said something else. And I, oh, no. You can see it oh, on my face. Oh, no. Phoenix. <laughs> and I, like, look back at Kota. I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, Lord. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> at, least, at least it wasn't Grandfather Clock. <laughs> the, the classic... Yeah, that's a good one for a tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> he may be a cool person, but he would never make a guest cry. Could he beat that? Could it be that Prince Biaki is in a bad mood? Taking a deep breath, uh, Jaborgius knocked on said prince's door, waiting for his answer. Although she never received an answer, which was quite strange. He never lets me wait this long either. <laughs> Plus, I'm certain that he's not attending any meetings right now. After all, Princess Sonia just left. A bit hesitant. 
She opened the door to the blonde's room, peeking in. Your Majesty? I'm here to... She stopped. Where was he? With great worry, the servant began to read the, search the room, but she couldn't find him. Where could he be? There was nothing else planned today. Why have you returned already? And why did you come into my room without permission? A voice came from behind her. Your Majesty, I was searching for you. Turning around, her purple eyes but a cold glare. Why were you searching for me? You only said I had to meet Princess Nevermind a day. What is it now? Byakia pushed his glasses up like a fucking nerd, letting out a long sigh like a bitch. <laughs> <sighs> Did my parents want anything from me? Tell them I'm busy. That's actually... That actually isn't why I wanted to talk to you. I was worried about you, Your Majesty. <laughs> his blue eyes widened for a few seconds before returning to his cold stare. You were worried about me? Please, I don't need a servant like you worrying about me. Wow. Give it a, a lowly, lowly servant doesn't need to be worrying about the yeah. prince. Yeah, you're too poor to be worrying about me. My, my, my retainer actually cares about me? Huh? <laughs> yeah, he's like baffled. <laughs> Biaki sat down, picking up a book from his desk. But I'm curious, why were you worried about me? Tell me. Jaborius wasn't sure if he <laughs> shut the fuck up, I'm trying my best. I already I, forgot I, I, how to read. I think it's actually it's actually funny it's funnier the fact that you keep mispronouncing <laughs> it. I I think it's very funny actually. Yeah, Jaborius. Ran random random uh quirks. Uh, that you give to the word Jabongrius and just oh, saying it differently each time. <laughs> well, I, the way my, my brain looks at it right now is like Jabrogius. <laughs> <laughs> Jabongrius wasn't sure if she would tell him, bowing to the prince. I, I was worried because you never made any of your guests cry. And why should that be worried? Oh, shit. <laughs> and why should you be worried about me then? Go back to our guests and com comfort Princess Nevermind. I'm sure she needs more than just her little servant. I just... I don't think you understand, Your Majesty. Princess Sonia told me that you are mean to her. He snickered, amused by their little conversation. She's like, <laughs> scoffs and rich. <laughs> <laughs> You've been my servant for quite an amount of time now. You should know that I'm not the most friendliest guy around. The blue-haired girl shifted her around, slightly unsure of what to say next. That might be, but you're still always so formal. Sometimes you're even friendly to your guests. Maybe you're right. Why would you be worried about me anyway? Aren't you being a little too nosy for a servant? What's gotten into you? He adjusted his glasses, again, crossing his arms. Your Majesty, with all due respect, may I ask you something that is quite personal? The blonde was quiet for a moment before mentioning to her to ask her a question has wait hold up before mentioning her to ask her a, okay in, in interesting phrasing i would say but uh yeah i think motioning has, yeah yeah has something happened between you and your siblings you seem really stressed out lately and i jabongrius oh shit what's what's her last name Hold up, I got this. Okay. I got this. Jabongrius Goldsmith? <laughs> Biakia told... Uh, Biakia stood up, his eyes growing even more cold. Asking? Ask something like this again, and I will get myself a new servant. 33 comments Ooh. on the side of this. That's, that's how you know. That's how you know. This shit. <laughs> There's something going on. There's something going on. You should have been like, no, no. Just chalked up to nothing, but not now. Yeah. Now you've invited me. You've invited me in. Dude, the, I like the first comment on the, the paragraph that we... Like, the last paragraph. The first comment I see is, Just say you want me. <laughs> 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 oh, God. At least they're, they're self-aware. Alright, uh, let me add in the... Okay, last name. You said uh, Goldsmith? <laughs> I think I said just Goldsmith, yeah. Perfect. Jaborgius Goldsmith. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I love Jabongrius. Jabong what a that's name. Jabongrius. That's <laughs> I'm gonna pronounce it several times wrong. <laughs> it's okay though because it's 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 actually quite funny. Yeah. <laughs> I need a, I, if I ever get popular enough, I need someone out there to make a compilation of me misreading words. <laughs> and <laughs> so it'll probably real. be an hour long. <laughs> oh lord. But but we could probably triple that just like how the time we read this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This whole book, you, they just put the whole book in the segment of me mispronouncing <laughs> all the words. Oh, God. All right. Chaporkis. You've got enough. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. You've Chipor- got enough time for about two two chapters was what I was going to say. Two oh, more yeah. chapters. oh, I didn't realize it was like 30. Uh, I guess these are pretty short, but they, they have a lot of, like, lore. I guess plot, yeah. not lore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it though. It's 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 a fun read. It's a fun little read, I guess. Yeah. How many chapters does this have? It has I think 19. nineteen. So we could probably get like half. Like, what yeah, else? yeah. We probably get the ten. I don't know. We'll see how far we get. Jaborgius quietly carried a golden tray with fancy tea on it towards the library. <laughs> dot 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 dot. <laughs> Quiet. Oh, my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> that that's the show that she quietly carried the tray is the dots. <laughs> Since she had crossed the line by asking the prince what was wrong, their relationship got worse. Great. He's already like he's already, <laughs> he's already like Ubered like another maid to come here. <laughs> <laughs> he gets the whip out. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens if you ask about my siblings again. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that kind of relationship is like a fifty shades of gray thing. <laughs> Dear God. Now he would treat her just like every other servant that he had before. It hurts a bit. A pain that she felt in her chest was weird to her. At first, she thought she was getting sick, so she visited the family, the royal family's doctor. But nothing. Was it really because of how Kobiakia was acting towards her? I'm just a servant. Why am I making a fuss? Shaking her head, the blue-haired female tried to focus on something else, not noticing that she had already arrived at the library, standing in front of the door. Are you going to stare at the door until it opens by itself? My tea will get cold. She couldn't help but jump, nearly spilling the drink. Ah, oh, your majesty. I'm so sorry, I was lost in thoughts, all alone. <clears throat> the blonde rolled his eyes, returning to the library, waiting for her to follow him. And what she saw inside wasn't something that she had expected. Not only was Biakia in there, no, so of his siblings were also there, and without even thinking about it, Jabongrius blurted out, Why is it so crowded in here? <laughs> Princess, Prince Biakia needs space to study and read in peace. That wasn't the most bright idea she could have had at that moment. Thank you, narrator. Thank you. I'm just a mere servant. How dare I talk to heirs like this? She quickly shut her mouth as all eyes shot towards her. But, fine, my brother kept whining around anyway. A blonde girl groaned, mentioning her servant to follow her as she and her siblings left. What? Unknown to the blue-haired girl, she was quite respected amongst the other servants, who told their heirs about her. According to them, the goldsmith was, even though... Wait. Fuck. According to them, the goldsmith was, even though she was just a mere servant, close to, Bia- to Prince Biakia, and knew when to say what. Even though it was helpful, don't ever do that again. You're just a mere servant. They could have you executed for this? God dang! Damn, I guess we are living those kinds of times. Mm-hmm. Just gets hung in the the gallows. <laughs> oh, because we we yelled at them. <laughs> it was all the the prince said beside her, sitting down. His tone seemed much softer than before, and he wasn't glaring at her anymore. Setting down the tea tray, she nodded. I'm truly sorry, your highness. I didn't intend to dare and demand your siblings around. I once again apologize for crossing the line like that. Jabungrius bowed while Biakia just stared at her. He began to get lost in his thoughts, forgetting about his surroundings. Why did she risk her life like this? And how did she even know 
how I was feeling towards the situation. No other servant ever knew when I was feeling uncomfortable or bothered by something, but she picked up on it right away. Maybe I should keep her as my personal servant, at least <laughs> until better. I get married. <laughs> yeah, I, I wonder why. <laughs> it's all right. I will forgive you just this once, but don't ever do this again. Do you understand? He pushes glasses up, picking the book that he had down, that he had put down before. Of course, I completely understand. Thank you for give, for giving me, Your Highness. With that. She spent the rest of the day putting away the books that he didn't need anymore. Jabongrius was glad that the atmosphere between the two wasn't as tense anymore. Though, she didn't notice that her heir was staring at, <clears throat> at her whenever she wasn't looking at him. Ooh, is he developing mm. a crush? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> commenter, <laughs> commenter. I'm gonna throw up for secondhand embarrassment. I'm I'm going to KMS. You should kill yourself now. <laughs> Take a piece of that oxygen and ozone layer and give it to someone else, preferably me. <laughs> All right, chapter five. All right, good. Everything loaded nicely. I don't know why every time I go to the next chapter, it doesn't do the the fucking pee over your place. I gotta refresh the page every time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chapter five. I like how they keep using the same image on every single it, chapter. It, it's just the ultimate affluent pro pr progeny, Byakia Togami. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I just in case you forgot, like halfway through the book of who we're reading about. <laughs> 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 chapter. I wish things had chapter names. You know. Uh, it, yeah, they. They. That, that. That would be pretty. Like. Yeah. I guess a little more immersive, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Let me, what, let, like, give me an expectation of, like, going into this chapter. Like, what should I be expecting? Like, give me, like, even something, like, subtle, you know? Mm hmm. We'll figure it in post, don't worry. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I, I gotta see this little time skip thing, like, the little flowers. I've never seen that before. That yeah, cool. yeah that, 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 that is nice. Yeah. That is nice. Instead of just, like, the asterisks. <laughs> It was a rather cold morning. Jabungrius didn't want Byakia to get sick, so she prepared some tea for him, slowly walking towards the big hallways. Man, I'm so glad I brought some tea with me today. <laughs> Real. Yeah, I got some gold peak, uh, peach tea. I'm drinking Mountain Dew Baja Blast right now. Oh, that's good. I should probably get some of that to, to kill my reproductive system. <laughs> yes, I, I love kidney stones. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Let's Pass see. Passing by some maids, she only heard some some of their words. It was obvious that they were gushing over the blonde prince that she was serving. I thought she, ha I thought Biakia had brothers, but it's okay. <laughs> I mm -hmm. guess it's all girls, and I, then I, it's I, just him. <laughs> I, I. It might just be like a a mixed family because I know it's a pretty big one. I'm sure it's got all both both. With siblings, uh, sister, and brothers. Yeah. Why do some servants seriously think that they have a chance to marry one of the heirs? It's probably <laughs> one of the only things that that is truly impossible in this world. If she says this now. She's gonna get married. <laughs> I, exactly. Yeah. The blue-haired girl shook her head and knocked on the prince's door, patiently waiting. But there, once again, was no answer. Did the prince develop a bit of a wait? Did the prince develop the habit of never answering me again? A deep sigh left her voice, uh, her fuck throat, as she just turned the doorknob. Before she could enter the room, though, a rather old servant of the family stopped her, gently and carefully not to startle her. Good morning, Jabungrius. Prince Biakia is not here until evening. The qu king and queen sent him to another kingdom, hoping he would be able to find a bride there. Nodding, she looked down at the tray. Now I made this tea for nothing, didn't I? Well, maybe you could bring it to another heir to- Immediately, the servant made it seem like she was going to drop the tray. The old man, kind and caring, quickly helped her and began to hold it for her. My goodness, you should be more careful! Are you feeling tired or exhausted? Lay down! Instead of answering, she just smiled. 
I want to bring some other air this tea. It's made for Prince Biakia, silly. I want to betray him by serving any other air his tea. His face went pale. Was she really taking it this serious? Or was she just joking around? Come on, well, we almost got executed from yelling at his like, <laughs> sibling, so I don't think this would be like... This would probably be the death penalty. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Rotten <in> jail. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, is it is it your go? I think this this paragraph's you, and then I'll take <coughs> over. Well, well, uh, I assume you have a day off then, or, or however, the peasants call it. <coughs> Her <coughs> purple eyes closed for a second, as she gave him a yet another smile. Yes, it seems like it. I'll see you soon, Mister. And with that. She turned around and left, wandering around the castle for a bit. I can't believe it. They really let Prince Biakia go to another kingdom. What if he gets hurt while he's there? What if he catches a cold? That's what you're worried about? <laughs> <laughs> not not like a revolutionary, not like, you know, drama that will make the kingdom implode. No. What if what if he gets a little bit sick? <laughs> They start a world war, and then her first concern is, <laughs> what if he gets sick? <laughs> On the inside, the female servant was panicking a bit. Her worries of, about her heir rising. But why do I always worry about him like this? Jabungria stopped dead in her tracks. Yes. Why did she feel worried about Biakia? She was just a mere servant, serving him since serving him three years now. That may be a lot of time, but he has never grown to see her as a friend. A servant that is all sh that he'll see her as... Well, fuck, I messed up that so Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Even if she could be in love with him, she could never shed a single tear about how cold he was towards her. After all, it was impossible for a royal and a commoner to have a happy life together. It was a rule that didn't exist... That didn't exist, but everyone knew of. Yeah, the unwritten law. Ah, yeah. uh, yes. Well, I've seen that uh, in Japanese before. Like, uh, like some girl <laughs> left the royal family for and left and left for a commoner, and she had, she had to like resign. Like, she wasn't allowed to be part of the royal family anymore. So she like yeah, had to step that's down. That's kind of how it is. Like, the the caste system was the same way in India. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> her her heart began to beat faster. Her eyes widening slightly at the thought of her and her heir together. This is nonsense! Giving herself a small slap on the cheek, she suddenly continued walking. Thoughts like these are so upsetting and unsettling. She thought back to earlier about how these female servants were gushing over her heir. I thought so badly about them, but in the end, I can't deny that I understand them. Prince Biakia is indeed very handsome, and being a royal, Jabangria shook herself and scolded herself. Pull yourself together. Alright, girl getting that bread. She getting Bro, that bread. She, it, it, it's, it's, starting, it's starting to heat up in there. It's starting to heat up. Yeah, she's probably recognizing she has feelings for him. But the ball's oh. coming up. <laughs> no kidding. Oh shit, this is going to be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's right. see. I guess I read the first chapter of si the, the first part of six. Biakia yeah. pushed his glasses up, <clears throat> waiting for the carriage to arrive at the castle. That day, he had met yet another princess. His parents would probably bombard him with questions, enthusiastic to find out if he had finally found a bride. But he would disappoint them again. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my he, fault. He, that, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. He is, he is not not finding any female that that is worthy of his presence. I I think I don't know, bro. I I think he might just be a little bit sussy. Yeah. That's just, that's just me personally. I'm I'm not. That's just me throwing it out there. I I don't want to be executed or anything, but that's just me throwing it out there. Just maybe the possibility. He could be just just a little bit uh, a little bit queer, you know, and and, and, and Probably is. <laughs> Tory, nothing derogatory. Just 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 kind of how I feel about it. But that's just my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I, he he's 
it, he's definitely giving Sigma energy right now of like constantly turning down these like low value women. <laughs> he, he, he's he's a Volcel. He's a Volcel. Yeah. Like, don't 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 compare. Don't call me an incel. I'm I'm a Volcel. I'm voluntarily celibate. It's not my fault that all the of. It's not my fault that all of them are people who only care about their looks. I certainly don't want to lose a throne to my siblings, but I don't want to get bound to someone as in, incompetent as them. With a sigh, he leaned back, shaking his head. I, I, I love I love the uh, the misspelled lo- lose as loose. I, I would have oh. I would have just I would have just read that as <laughs> I don't want to loose the throne. <laughs> like, like emphasis on the. Lo- <laughs> oh, oh yeah I should have said that my brain auto corrected it <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're here your highness a butler said as he quickly opened the door of the carriage letting the blonde exit make sure to properly brush the horses this time or you're fired <laughs> if, you, if you know what I mean he's gonna light them on fire <laughs> <laughs> holy shit man these fucking royals are brutal with their punishments <laughs> no kidding. Like it's no. gonna be like that scene in JoJo, you know, where the dog gets left in the in the incinerator. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I was gonna say. Like I've only turn- seen part. I've only seen part one, but yes, yeah, that that, that, that like- is. Wow. Yeah. And Diva was a prick. Yeah, he was. God. <laughs> this is like that royalty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The prince turned his back to the now anxious servant and began to walk off. Yeah, I'd be anxious too if I was going to be lit on fire. (laughs) (laughs) Since the ball was announced, all the servants have been slacking off or started to to not do their work properly. Maybe it's time to refresh our personnel. With those thoughts across his mind, a picture of his servant appeared beside them for a split second, causing him to almost trip. He fucking falls. (laughs) That would have been funny. (laughs) What was that? He coughed, looking around to make sure no one saw him. Fortunately, no one was around. Most people were probably busy by preparing for the ball, planning the food and everything else for the next weekend. All this just to find an heir. Parents sure are extra. A comfortable feeling overcame him when he stepped into the warm castle, taking a deep breath. The people inside of here may be something else, but it's still home. Not a bad way of living, is it? A few servants waved and greeted him, even trying to begin a conversation. Except for starting to try a little chit-chat with me. Why don't you get back to work? Oh, and to answer your questions, no. I would not like some tea right now. Yes, I already have something planned for this evening. No, I will not attend the family dinner. Damn. What a dick! Yeah, he, he's kind of <laughs> being a dick right now. He's like... And before you ask, no, I'm not coming to dinner. He, he's got to. Oh, and to answer your questions, plural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some fucking prick. This cold stare made them shiver. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Biakia pushed back past them, eager to finally enter his room. He was positively surprised, though, to see how clean and tidy everything was. I suppose. Oh shit! It didn't refresh. All right, J- Jabongrius, clean. <laughs> while I was gone. Some servants are still as good as always. Ah, your highness, you're back. Speaking of which, he turned around, coming face to face with his personal servant. Your parents requested to see you. They told me that it was really urgent. Her usually calm voice was suddenly slightly louder, a bit anxious, a bit anxiety laying on into it. Is it because of the family dinner? The blued hair girl made sure that no other servants were around. Servants could tell their heirs that fuck. Servants could tell their heirs oh, about what what they would tell him. Yeah. Sorry. Family. No, you're good. <laughs> and dog. Hold on. Yeah. I don't want- I got a fucking dog going on in the background, and I can't control it. <laughs> Is it on to my next part? Uh, no, I'm still reading my paragraph real quick. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Service that could tell their heirs about what she would tell him. She leaned up, whispering to him. She could- he could even lean down a bit for her. 
The king and queen are getting impatient for you finding a bride. The blonde's eyes widened. His parents knew that he hadn't found a bride yet. Yes, but he didn't expect them to get this impatient this quickly. Did they tell you anything else? He asked. A bit of hope in his voice. Unfortunately, she had to shake her head. No, they only told me that you need to meet someone as soon as you've returned. Miyaki had turned around. It's was about to storm off, but then he quickly turned uh, toward her. Fuck. Again, gave her shoulder a thankful, gentle squeeze of her rushing out of his... Uh-oh. Uh, the, the, um, the plot... Plot? The plot thickens Maybe, maybe he's again. actually getting interested in her. <laughs> oh, mind blown. Mind blown. Alright, this will probably be the final chapter for this All right. recording. Sounds good. Alright, chapter 7. <laughs> Yay, the thing's working again. Now I can read Jaborgius. <laughs> you, can, you can do these next three. Alright. Not knowing what to do, Jaborgius wandered through the royal garden, letting out a deep sigh. Biakia's gesture earlier had caught her completely off guard. She had just stood there for a while afterwards until the signs had go on this small walk. Today has been really strange. Haven't you heard? The king and queen are so desperate to get Prince Biakia to marry someone that they don't even set the peasant as long as it's a pretty woman. Damn. <laughs> Ooh, the, the bar is the getting bar. lower. Let's yeah, go. We qualify. <laughs> A few female servants were chatting nearby. A blush was visible on their cheeks. So we do have a chance of becoming royalty. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they do. Technically. Very, very nice. Very nice. Jabongrius, it's about it's about to be so, so back for Jabongrius yeah. bros. Yeah, finally Jabong Jabongrius is going to catch a break around here. <laughs> a weird feeling overcame the blue hair female. So Princess Biakia can even pick someone like them? Why does that thought bother me so much? He was too good for some servants that, that can't even do their own work properly. She stopped in front of him, causing them to look at her. Oh, hello. Aren't you the servant of Air Princess... <laughs> I keep calling him Princess. <laughs> Prince Biakia, you must feel so lucky right now. At first, said the girl wanted... Said girl wanted to scold them for just chattering around. Lucky? Why should I feel lucky? It must be hard getting forced into a marriage. I'm worried about my heir. One of them gave them a playful, annoyed sigh. <sighs> That's what they all say, isn't it? But all servants have the same goal. We want to become royals to seduce the heirs of their family. And Prince Biaki is the first who is allowed to marry a peasant. <laughs> The other female giggled, agreeing with her friend. Or rival. Who even knew at that point? I bet you already tried to come closer to him. Didn't you? But don't worry. We don't blame you. We can't. He's so handsome. Smart. Most importantly, a rich royal. Dude, base. Oh, base. They, base. <laughs> they, they, they going after the bread. They going after the bread, but uh, we're, we're, we're just... We're just uh, having thoughts right now. We're we're just having thoughts. That's what we're doing. Hey, like I, like I've always said, get that bread, get that head, and leave. All right. On jaw, so <laughs> real. <laughs> Jabungri has tried to stay calm. She knew that greedy servants existed, even though they seemed to genuinely like their work. Most of them actually meant it. They wanted the best of their heir, not minding their own feelings. But servants like this, no matter if female or male, made her feel sick. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? The blue-haired female finally said to the other two that were already chatting or again. Ashamed of ourselves? What are you supposed to mean? They crossed their arms, giving her a slight glare. It just seems really idiotic to me. Why would an heir marry a servant? <laughs> In an instant, the playfulness and friendliness of their faces were gone. Why wouldn't he? He needs a bride and what, to be better than his siblings, doesn't he? Jabungrius had to admit, the servants weren't ugly at all. Long hair, long legs, What? and what could they offer? I like how long <laughs> legs is, a, is a, like a positive. I, I, 
I mean, hey, why not? <laughs> Some are into that. Yeah, it's like oh, it's like back in the old days when you like showing ankle was like like flashing someone. <laughs> so real, and now it's armpits. I mean, what? Whoa. No, it's now it's like shoulders, <clears throat> right? <laughs> well, well, I may be talking about myself. I'm just joking. I'm not, that's that's a joke. Legally, legally obligated to say it's a joke. And what would you offer the family? Her questions seem to catch them off guard. What do you mean by that? I mean exactly, exactly what I said. He won't marry you. You have nothing that benefits the kingdom. Prince Biakia cares only about his land. For the princess, he would at least have an ally. And what about it? You can have everything if you're pretty enough. Don't think you're better than us just because you're his personal servant. The female shook her head with a sigh. Unless you, I at least know one. Unless, unless you, I at least know one to shut up. Speaking of which, with a swift motion, she parted them off from each other. Your heirs probably need you right now. Why are you standing here? Get back to work right now. The few last glares, the two scrambled away, mumbling something about trying their luck with Biakia. Jabangrius had to smile a bit. Good luck with that. Alright, well we're getting <laughs> plod! We're doing we're, it! We're, we're, we're digging deep, we're digging deep. We got the shovel, we're digging deep. Yeah, we we going. I, th I think this is, this is pretty good. I actually like this book a lot. A, yeah, it's a pretty good place to stop as well, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. like right before the ball, I think. So. Yeah. So, ooh, we, we got we got something good for next time. We got something good to look forward to next time. Yeah, will Jabungrius uh, make out with Biakia? Who knows? We Question don't. mark? Yeah. <laughs> Yo? Is he into people with blue hair and pronouns? And, and with uh, extremely long, convoluted names that you probably should not give your children. <laughs> yeah, like Chabungrius. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, no, that's... No, well, I no, can't say that that's was a better name. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Yeah. I, I was gonna say, the last, like, YN replacer one that we did, I think we named mm -hmm. the girl Keyboard, <laughs> so... <laughs> keyboard, yeah. Keyboard Woman. Yeah. Need, need Keyboard GF. Yeah, well, her full name was Keyboard Mouse. <laughs> That's hard. I know, it that went goes, hard. That goes hard. Yeah. Naming my, naming my children that, changing my last name to Mouse. <laughs> name <laughs> <a> keyboard? <laughs> <laughs> keyboard and Mouse. Got yep, me. this is my child. Yep, Keyboard Mouse. The first, <laughs> the first. <laughs> there will be more Keyboard Mouses in the future. <laughs> Gonna have to look up how many people are named that in the U.S. I don't think a lot. Uh, at, at most two. <laughs> <laughs> at least one person has actually has the last name Mouse and named their kid Keyboard. <laughs> it, it, it just goes too hard. It just yeah, goes too hard. Absolutely. Straw. I love how opposite our profile pictures are. Where I have a male as my profile and I have a very high pitched voice, and you have a girl as your profile picture and you have a very deep voice. <laughs> I think I think the uh, I think the symbolism runs a bit deeper than just that too. I think I think that's pretty funny as well. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm not as cool as my profile picture. No way, I'm my coolest Sanji. <laughs> I I love Aki from Yuru Cap. She is such a massive fucking dork. <laughs> Well, if, if you guys would like to read this book, I will have it linked down below if you guys would just want to, like, fucking speedrun <laughs> fucking reading. <laughs> but, uh, well, hopefully I can have you on for more sessions, dude. We gotta, we gotta see where this book leads, you know? Absolutely, I absolutely. Need, I need the Anytime. royal drama. I need to know if we made out with him. <laughs> I need to know if we got uh, married. <laughs> The, the the spicy part will be coming up next. I'm certain. I, I was I was wondering if we would get to any of that, but we didn't. Well, this we, now now we know. We, there, there might be there might be you know the real the real juice the real juice coming up. Yeah. Well, the book isn't labeled mature, but you know some well, people just yeah, don't well, label shit. What right? I what I mean what, what I meant was you know like you know ro romance. Oh, type okay, stuff. okay, yeah, I, yeah, I know, romance, yeah. romance. Yep. <laughs> I'm I'm, I'm kind of glad we didn't pick anything NSFW. I was. I was gonna say, <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't mind wouldn't mind reading that, but yeah. uh, 
it, I, I, well, I would pr- pr- prefer to keep it PG, PG-13. Yeah, I <laughs> cannot say the same. I did, <laughs> the last Wattpad recording I did was me and my boy, and we read NSFW One Piece. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I, dude, I, 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 I couldn't keep a straight face. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't either. Yeah. Wouldn't either. <laughs> yep. Well, anyway, uh, my name is Phoenix. This is uh, Philip, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye-bye.